another violent week in Rochester. Shootings this year already outpacing last. Over 100 of them so far as we near the end of May. Three people shot today alone. And last night, a woman struck by gunfire while inside a church on Merrimack Street. Jack Watson live for us now at police headquarters. And Jack, take us through the last few days here. Adam, the violence just within the last week or, or day or so includes that uh, double shooting on Mazda Terrace. It includes a separate shooting on Joseph Avenue, and neighbors tell me it's upsetting. Obviously, everyone's troubled about the um, amount of violence that, that we've seen. Another two Rochester shooting victims added to a rapidly growing list of more than 130 victims this year. A man and a woman shot on Mazda Terrace, one victim inside a home, the other on the porch. It's certainly something we're very concerned about, as, as I'm sure all of you are, and the public as well. Meanwhile, the damage still fresh on the side of a Merrimack Street church from a Tuesday shooting. Marks of an uptick in gun violence in the city. Paul Lawrence lives just across the way from the church. The violence striking close to home. He tells me it's unnerving. It feels scary sometimes, because most of the time it's all over the place. Everywhere you go, you see it. And then everywhere you go, if it ain't here somewhere else or down the street or around the corner. Paul tells me the shooting's victim, a 47-year-old woman, is his neighbor. For this to happen in a church. That's scary. Once you're in church, you don't know it's safe to go to church anymore. As an unusually violent year moves along, the city finds itself on the search for ways to reduce the violent crime. The state attorney general's office hopes this could do some help. A gun buyback at a local church looking to pay money to take guns to be melted down and destroyed. But it avoids like an unwanted gun that's maybe not monitored very closely from falling into the wrong hands. And that's something we try to avoid having, having happen. An effort to try putting an end to scenes like this. Gun damage done to a house of worship. And Adam, just one last note on those Mazda terrorist shooting victims. They are both expected to recover with those non-life-threatening injuries. Live at police headquarters, Jack Watson, News 8.